I am back here with the beautiful Miss Trudy. First of all, let's get into Sis's outfit. She better come true. Okay, so we are actually on our way to go get a COVID test. Um, where are you heading to next? I'm going back to Kenya. So she's going back to Kenya and I'm actually um, going to Malawi. So we figured why not come together and you know, just go get our COVID test together. So we're getting it in um, Tanzania. And as of right now, there are limited hospitals that have the COVID test um, just because um, COVID is like pretty non-existent here. Um, so let's get into it. Now she's pretty experienced with this COVID test even though she says still feels so uncomfortable. Yeah. But this is actually my first time um, getting it. Now before you guys attack me, I've gotten it. I've gotten the blood test to see if I've ever been exposed to COVID. Um, so I have never been exposed to it. So I've gotten that test. I've just never actually gotten like in the swab uh, COVID test and having my blood test showing that I've never had COVID um, has um, like it's been perfectly fine with um, the airline that I did to come back from New York to here so that's what we're up to today you know come along and we're gonna see how it goes The thing about COVID, like, for me, I mean, listen, I understand it's like a real thing and there are people who are dying from it. Most people recover from it. But when people say like, oh, this person died from COVID, this person died from COVID, they really have to look into the medical side of things. What really happened is that most people are already sick. So let's just say they have cancer or they have another autoimmune disease and that even a common cold would pretty much kill them because they have no immune system so i do think that you know more people are scared of covid than um than it's doing harm um at least you know and and again in my opinion and hopefully you know no one maybe somebody else feels this way about it as well um they are coming up with a vaccine that i personally really don't trust um, and I don't want my kid to have it as well um, and it, it, it just sounds like a, a, a idea of a billion dollar business that's coming out so that way we can scare the population for everybody get everybody vaccinated get everybody on board and stuff like that I actually have a question like how do you feel about um, them doing the clinical trials here in Africa there's just so much going on. It's so confusing. I'm honestly yeah. so confused. Sometimes I'm like, I really don't think it's Corona, you know. Yeah. And sometimes I'm like, oh my gosh, I think that is Corona. But I, I feel like, okay, some people might be behind it. It might just be a scheme or a scam, you know. Yeah. It's just so difficult to know, you know. Yeah. And that's why um, I can't wait to see what the results of this, this test are going to be. Yeah. If I come out negative, I'm really going to think it's probably Corona, you know. Yeah, I don't What's know. It? It's, it's very confusing. Oh, yeah, it's so confusing, you know. It's so confusing. But you're speaking from our own experience. Right. This yeah. is just, again, our opinion. I mean, for myself, like, when I found out that they were doing, like, clinical trials and all this stuff, here in the motherland it kind of pissed me off because i feel like the numbers here compared to the numbers in the western world is fairly low so why are you going to do the clinical trials here when we should be doing it in the west when one there's more technology and also that's where the problem is so why are we sitting here injecting and making people sick over here but haven't you heard the reports though you said what 
haven't you heard the reports today my pa um she called me and let me know that the u.s just announced that um, tanzania is a hotspot and kenya and uganda like east africa is a hotspot when it comes to the pandemic but and, now and it's like okay how many people have died in the states i mean i don't know i don't know like a lot say, like three is it over three million people are infected but then in East Africa, we I think it's bad. even. I think it's even more than you know, that. We know that bad, in New so. York, is like that number. Like it's crazy how many people have like died from the infection and also like have have been affected and been sick about it. And, and it's that bad in East Africa. So when they say that, I don't understand. It's right. Crazy. Like you would think that they would go to places where people are really being affected by it so that way they can see the clinical trials and stuff like that but no they want to do it here um for what for what why are you using african people as guinea pigs it just really pisses me off i don't mean to go off on a rant but it just it just really pisses me off because i just would like to know the reason why um but you know what either way you know we have to get this covid test so you know we're gonna do what we have to do and let's see what the results are gonna be So we are here in the hospital. Um, there's a different price for foreigners and locals, which is kind of annoying. But um, I thought it was going to be much expensive than it is. It's actually only about 50 US dollars, so I'm really happy that it's that cheap. Um, I think it took about three days for the results. Um, unfortunately, that really doesn't work for me because we have to get going. Um, but Miss Trudy is about to get her COVID test um, here and then because she has the time. And then we're going to go to the other hospital so I can get my COVID test done. Um, yeah, so Miss Trudy is gonna get it now. Hey guys, so I am waiting for a uh, ticket number, um, basically, so I can come back and get the results on Sunday. So it takes about two days to get the results. They would not let us um, get the COVID. Um, like take the COVID test on camera. So I'm sorry guys, I wasn't able to show you exactly what happened. But what I will say is they put a swab in the back of my throat and they put a swab in my nose. And I mean, it wasn't, it was uncomfortable for the moment, but it really wasn't that bad. Like it, it wasn't terrible at all. Um, I was really expecting from the videos and the memes and everything that I seen for me to be like practically dying, but it really wasn't that bad. I felt completely fine afterwards. and. I have to come back for the certificate uh, to get the certificate. So that's pretty much the wrap up of the um, COVID test. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you subscribe, like, comment. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.